Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Max AC channel. For this episode, I thought that I would do another really simple recipe, Meze Platter with Homemade Tomb. This recipe is so simple that you only need four ingredients for the tomb, and whatever ingredients you want for the platter. Specifically for the tomb, you will need some garlic, some oil, some lemon juice, and some salt. In terms of prep, before making this, put your oil in the freezer for about an hour. This seems like a weird step, but it helps a lot to stabilize the emulsion and allows you to use less oil than other recipes I found online. So I definitely recommend doing so if you want to use less oil. For the garlic, I recommend using pre-peeled ones. You can use fresh garlic, but it's very labor intensive and kind of annoying to do. Though I guess if you need to wait for the oil to chill, that's one way of killing time. But once your garlic is ready to go, place about a cup or so of them in a food processor. You could also use a mortar and pestle for this, but... Ain't nobody got time for that! Then, throw in about two tablespoons of lemon juice, which is about one to two lemons worth. And throw in some salt as well. Then we'll blend it up until it's finely chopped, stopping occasionally to scrape down the sides. One thing you want to be careful about is that since garlic is a vasodilator, if you have low blood pressure, eating too much of this can drop it even more, which obviously is not good. So just make sure not to go overboard. Once it has a paste-like consistency, keep your food processor on and slowly drizzle in one and a half cups of the cold oil, about one half cup at a time. This step is important because if you pour it in too fast, the tomb will separate. The good thing, however, about using a food processor is that many of them have this attachment that has tiny holes just for this purpose. Just pour your oil in the cup and let it pour for you. Again, make sure to stop to scrape the sides down occasionally as well. You could probably get away with a little bit less oil, but that's up to you. Also, if you don't want to wait the hour, you could use three cups of room temperature oil, but that seems like a lot of oil to me. Once all the oil is incorporated, the tomb should have a nice thick consistency and bright white color. Mine looks a bit yellow, but that's probably because I used olive oil, rather than an oil lighter in color. If you're not going to use all of it, transfer the sauce to a clean container and store it in the refrigerator. It should keep for about four to six weeks, but good luck resisting using it for that long. Once your tomb is ready, it's time to plate your meze platter. I decided to keep it pretty simple and just cut up some tomatoes and cucumbers, and I also included some baby carrots, feta cheese, olives, and some leftover chicken breasts for some protein. And there you have it. Simple meze platter with homemade tomb. So I first saw this recipe while watching Emmy from Emmy Made make this about a year ago, and I've been meaning to make it for a while now, so I thought that I would try to make it for you guys. I originally was a bit hesitant to make this because I was lazy and didn't want to peel all that garlic, but I saw a pre-peeled bag in the store a couple weeks ago and I no longer had any reason to put it off. However, Emmy in her video also had pretty good tips for peeling garlic cloves if you decided to go with fresh garlic. Initially for this video, I was just going to make the tomb but I wanted to actually incorporate it into an actual meal, so that's where the meze platter came from. But there are certainly other uses for it besides as a dipping sauce, such as in a marinade or salad dressing. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video, 
In the comments below, let me know how it went, if you decided to make it, and let me know if there's anything you want me to make next. Like the video, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe to this channel for more episodes of the Max AC channel. And remember, if you want to stay cool in the kitchen, turn your AC to the max and watch the Max AC channel. Dang, I forgot the pita chips.